Happy Independence Day, fighting the fish. I'm on my way to the lake right now to celebrate my independence. I, uh, I've had the kids, four to five kids, you know, and I love all of them, but I have had them for six days straight now. And so today, I'm heading out on the lake just by myself. I'm gonna fish fast, I'm gonna fish hard, I'm gonna put some bass in the boat. That's the goal today, put some big bass in the boat. And uh, it's 4th of July, it could be a crazy day out on the water. It's a beautiful day, there could be lots of boats out there, got a little bit of wind. Either way, it's gonna be fun, and I'm looking forward to it. It's all right, pulling up to the launch, here we go. Okay guys, before I hit the launch, I wanna give some shout outs. So we didn't have a lot of comments on our last video, although maybe we'll still get more comments, but I have a new subscriber, Courtney Davis. New subscriber, I wanna give a shout out to you. Thank you for subscribing, I appreciate you so much. Um, Carson Chang, Carson is like one of the first people to always comment on my videos. Love you Carson, thanks for comments. Love your videos also. And uh, Brett Dunham, Brett, I don't know if you're gonna see this video because Brett commented on a Facebook post and so I don't know I don't even know if Brett's a subscriber or not, but uh, but Brett commented that you know he really liked the positive energy that I had on my videos, and you know I appreciate that, Brett, because it's it's tough fishing sometimes, man. Like when all I want to do is go fishing, and all I want to do is is get this YouTube series off the ground and get at least a thousand subscribers this summer, you know. And it's uh, it can be really tough, you know. It can be really it can be tough because you know maybe I only have a few hours to fish and then it's raining and thunderstorms or bad wind and you got to make the best of it you know you always just got to make the best of it so I appreciate that comment Brad I'm trying so hard so all right you guys let's launch the boat let's go do some fishing in the water I hate launching the boat by myself but whatever Lost my sandal. What the heck? It's gotta be right here. Going today. Good. You kept the big ones today, right? I hope so. I just I just dropped my sandal like right there. It's oh, no. it's gotta be like right there. I know, right? <laughs> it's just it's gotta be right here. I'm not going to spend too much time looking for it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm going to give up. Missed one. Got him. I knew there'd be one under that dock. Oh yeah. First fish, not a big one, but it happened. All right. Okay, well I haven't been real successful yet, but let's talk about the game plan today. I only have a few hours to fish, which is kind of standard for me these days, and I'm gonna, I'm trying to hit it fast and hard. I'm just running and gunning to every spot real quick, right? And so I've got two, two lures I'm really throwing for the majority of the day here. I've got a black and blue bass jig, okay? And I'm using a pretty heavy braid line on here, and I have a steel leader. So the reason why I'm using the steel leader is because I'm I'm fishing really stained water right now, and it's just it's not making a difference the the you know the visibility of the line. There's a lot of pike here, and even muskies. There's just been so many times that I've been out here and I've gotten bit bit off by giant fish like that. I'd prefer to catch them, so I've got a steel leader. And what I'm doing with the bass jig is I've been skipping it under docks, and if I'm in weed like where there's weed lines and weeds, 
I'm getting it stuck in the weeds. I'm just ripping it really aggressively through the weeds. And when it's like making that like commotion in the weeds, like, like rah, rah, trying to get out of the weeds, a lot of times the fish see that and slam it. So that's one method that I'm doing. Another thing I'm doing is I've got a, I've got a creature bait here. Can you guys see that? Okay, so that's, I'm throwing a Texas rigged creature bait. So I'm throwing that weightless. And when I'm in really, really shallow areas, especially like some of the shallow islands around the rocks and stuff, just in between the weeds, I'm just letting it sit in there and just kind of letting it slowly flutter down and just kind of bringing it back a little bit. Again, I'm using braided line on that. I like to use a line that doesn't have a stretch. Uh, I think a lot of people prefer fluorocarbon with a presentation like that. I didn't have a bait caster set up with fluoro today. So I'm using braid and I don't like to use mono with that particular presentation because I, I just don't feel the bites as good and I don't get the hook set as well. So that's it you guys. Let's go out and catch some fish. One. And, yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's what I was waiting for on the creature bait. Oh yeah. Nice. There you go. That was fun. Well, my GoPro died a long time ago. My SD card was full. I don't know how it filled up so fast, but I caught a few fish that I didn't get on camera because I didn't have my GoPro on, but I caught them on the creature bait. I threw the buzz bait for a while, and I just I had a couple blow-ups that I missed. I caught one little one that I caught that you saw on camera. And I don't know, like, I put the creature bait back on. I got a few, on the, few more on the creature bait, but it was weird because it's like... Before my fishing channel, I would just come out fishing, but when I didn't have the GoPro anymore, I was like, what do I do? <laughs> do I just do I just be done fishing or do I keep fishing, you know? So I don't know, I kept fishing for a little bit and it was cool. Um it definitely was a, a struggle out here today for me. You know, I've had 50 fish days out here, it's probably hundred fish days, and to only get one decent fish today it was kind of it's kind of tough. But when I started this channel, I said that I wanted to make it real. And I wanted to show real fishing and so you don't always crush them so I'm gonna upload this video even though it wasn't the most successful trip I've had it was still an amazing day it was a beautiful day on the water it was nice to just get out here and, and fish for a while uh, once again I just want to let you guys know that I really appreciate you guys I, I love seeing the comments and uh, I know our, our our subs have been slowly climbing and you know, have a goal to hit a thousand by the end of the summer. I think we're going to do it. We've got some really cool fishing trips coming up. And with that, I will catch you. Oh, I should say happy 4th of July. And I will catch you next time on Fighting the Fish.